Hi, my name is Gina and I'm an associate editor with Mother Earth Living magazine. Today I'm going to show you how you can make your own natural hand cream. Caring for our hands is just as important as caring for the rest of our bodies. But what we slather on our bodies is absorbed by our skin, and a lot of conventional hand lotions use ingredients such as phthalates, parabens, and petroleum byproducts that have been linked to many health concerns such as infertility to cancer. So instead of buying a product with a laundry list of ingredients that you can't even pronounce, just have fun at home making your own. Here's what you need to get started. Grab an eighth teaspoon of baking soda along with a fourth cup of chamomile tea. I've already put my eighth uh, teaspoon of baking soda, put it in a saucepan, and here's my chamomile tea. If you want, you can just use distilled water or boiled water in place of chamomile tea. Uh, I just like to use chamomile tea because it adds an extra soothing property to this hand lotion. If you want, you can also use any other tea that you have around your house, such as lavender or rosemary. So stir that up, set it aside, and we're going to get back to that in a bit. Next, just grab a double boiler. I don't have one, but it's really simple to make. Just fill a saucepan with a little bit of water, set a glass bowl on top, and put it over low heat. You're going to melt a tablespoon of grated beeswax with a half cup of olive oil. So now that you have the beeswax with your olive oil, you just want to let it slowly melt so, not to, so as not to scorch the wax. So like I said, I have it on low heat. We're just going to let this melt and come back to it in a bit. Well, now that this has completely melted, we're going to add a tablespoon of cocoa butter. Once again, this is another optional step. If you don't want to go out of your way to find some cocoa butter, don't feel like you have to. But this is going to add just a little something extra to this lotion and give it a much richer consistency. So now just mix together your cocoa butter. And now we're going to get back to that baking soda mixture that we started out with in this recipe. I've just had it sitting over here on low heat. You want it to be about 100 degrees. I've just had it warming and I think it's about right. And pour it into your mixture. Stir it up a little bit more. And finally, we're going to take it off the burner and let the mixture cool. Okay, now the mixture has completely cooled, so we're going to add our essential oil. With the cocoa butter, vanilla would smell really great, but I actually had lavender sitting around my house, so that's what we're going to use today. This uh, blend from our acacia also has a little bit of tea tree in it, which is going to be a wonderful antibacterial, which is just another added bonus of this mix. Uh, just add about no more than five drops. You don't want the lotion to be overpowering. Five drops will do it. Give it one more stir. And just pour it into a glass container. Um, I have this handy little mason jar. You can also use something, one of these tins that I got at my local health food store. This is actually a finished hand lotion that I made earlier. Just massage it into your hands use as you would any normal lotion. And that's it. I hope you had fun making this hand lotion. For more great tips, visit MotherEarthLiving.com. Thanks.